got Zanziar now, again with Twinella. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about this game that we've got. Wow, nice. This is, um, whoops. Gotta put the microphone back on. Did, did we have this last time? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm yes. wondering too. Uh-oh. <laughs> or should we do it again? No, we're let's, good. Let, let's hope not. Yeah. Well, we've got two, two different mic systems going on. Here, okay. So we're good. Yeah, well, I have so loud voice that it's, it would be... You, you, you connected into mine at yeah. the very least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At least. Yeah. Okay, so basically this, this is a fantasy adventure, but it, uh, it, it, it involves also some strategy elements. So this can be played just like an adventure game. Okay. Uh, many of the younger people actually tend to do it like that. Um, whereas the gamers who want to play strategy, they just play strategy. I see. The basic idea is that each player has a hero. Let's assume that you would be... I am Princess Anna of Far. There we go. Yes. Right. Let's see that I would be Odrix the Chancellor. This, ah. And each hero that you get has... I'm a lot hotter than you, than you are. Obviously. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like a baldy and... Uh, <laughs> So on, yeah, and you, you, you are walking in. Uh, I in seem to be wearing a, a, a bikini. Yes, yes, that's okay. Yeah. But anyhow, each hero has its own very specific separate goals, and therefore you normally enter the game uh, like okay. this. All right. So this is a hidden property. You can tell when, when you, when, whenever you like, you can reveal any card like this to be able to use any of these because the backside has. The, the, the like numbers that you normally have, st your stats. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. There's so, numbers on the back here on the shield. Yes. So those numbers are the ones that every unit has when it's not revealed. Mm. And you will notice that there is considerable difference. Much better yes. when you turn it over. But then, then again, if you turn it over, everyone knows what you are trying to do. I see. And therefore, many if not all of the players, um, wait, 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 wait at least uh, some while before they reveal who they are. I see. There are um, like quite many heroes, um, so it, it makes sense to uh, like take a look at the goal section, that what are the possible goals for each hero. Oh, okay. And each hero comes into play with units, uh, these, these are like armies, mm, okay. and you can have also like adventurers that you that join you. Join you on your quest. Yes. Right. Okay. And if you have an adventurer, you can split your team in a way that if you have, let's say, these, mm. so then you have then you have actually two markers. Like this is your first army, and this is your second army, for mm. instance. Okay. So this is just to remember that which go for which. Mm -hmm. This takes a little bit of table space, as you can see, because there can be uh, quite many cards on the table at the same time. But it's a nice compact board, so it fits yes. nicely there. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And for those who actually want to pr uh, print it bigger, we have the, that on high resolution PDF, um, oh, okay. also on BGG. So you can you can you can make it by yourself. So it looks like you can have up to three armies. Up to three are uh, up to three uh, adventurer Sorry, groups. Yeah. Uh, these are armies, but, but up to three adventurer groups. Okay. And with with those groups, you are trying to achieve your goal. The goal can be, for instance, to control one country, meaning that you have to conquer all the cities in the country. Okay. It can be. Uh, finding a certain item, it can be finding a mine, it can be conquering or like um, solving an adv adventure. These are adventure markers. Okay. And adventure could be, for instance, this. The seer stone. Uh, a seer stone is an extremely uh, powerful artifact which can show, show glimpses of the past, future, and present. To the skilled and strong, but the oh, to the skilled and strong, but the weak suffer greatly to survive. Oh, it's a the weak yeah. suffer greatly to survive. Now we've got the symbols must be greater than thirteen. Yes. Okay. So, so then the combined values in here would have to be greater than thirteen. I and see. for instance, in your case, that wouldn't be the case. 
That would That's, be bad. That would be bad. Uh, yeah, so my my peasants don't count. It's just my just your hero my, my or hero. adventure. Okay, all right. You know, you leave adventure. Uh, you you leave like individuals to do the adventuring and let the armies camp. You know, like by the adventure. No, I see. I see. Okay. So. Therefore, you would need to have some improvements, oh, some items. speed, there we go, yes. Yeah, so that would give me... Do, that, those, do those get assigned specifically to an yes, adventure? Yes, yes. Okay. So, so you assign these, and you can have two Wizard items... staff? Two items for each each uh, adventurer okay. or, or hero. And yeah. these cards, um, units, adventurers, so on, all of these have um, four different combat characteristics. Mm -hmm. This is diplomacy, magic, con, which is like cheating and seduction and whatnot. And then combat, which is also, which equals hit points. Ah, so see. your hero dies very easily. Well, she's One wearing a bikini, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, <laughs> that's only to be understood like that. Right, exactly. <laughs> and the strategy element comes also uh, rather evidently in, in battles, because in battles, if you ever end up in, in those, you will, let's assume that these would be my armies, mm -hmm. you will put these into three different lines, like the front line is for combat, the second line is for con, and then the last line is for magic. Okay, these are now randomly placed. Mm, sure. But uh, anyhow, first you go for the magic, mm. magic is single to single, then it's con, it's entire row against one of your units. And the, the idea of con is that I will go and scare your guys. <laughs> and they, were, they, they, they might run away or they might join my side. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, which would be bad for you. <laughs> that would be bad. And then the last, last part is the combat, which is just combat row against your combat row and okay. it, it will clash. Gotcha. And unfortunately, I have to admit that this this game actually does have a die. That's okay. Yeah, survive. yeah. Right. I'll, I'll I'll survive. Uh, but on each row, you you roll like for instance combat. You roll one die. I roll one die. Uh, so it's the total of combat plus one die and. Uh, whatever is the difference is the damage. Okay, all right. Somewhat simple. Yeah, but straightforward, yeah. very straightforward. Yeah, and easy also for, let's say, no. we have had 12-year-olds uh, playing this and they have been able to do the math. Sure, sure. That's cool. Um, so, the ultimately you are trying to do the adventures and you're trying to accomplish this? No, you, you are trying to accomplish uh, the, the goals of your hero. Oh, okay which is a list which is best shown from here. Oh, okay. So each hero has two to three goals and oh, you, are, you, can, you can choose which two you will complete. So complete two of, two of your goals and you win the game. So mine was to own two or more pieces of the staff of we're mandalus. Yes, items. Which is one of those things in yes, there. Yes, items. Okay. Like the, this. Okay. All right. The leader of Largos's identity must be revealed. Yes. So you need to convince someone to like flip if he's playing this leader of Largos, yeah. which is one one of the heroes. I you see. need to convince him somehow. Um, then he needs to show his. Yes. Yes. All right. And either Anna or Olaf is in control of far. Yes, that would mean that your hero or someone else's hero that might Controls or might that far in oh, here. There we are. Okay. All right. Very cool. That's the basic idea. Uh, so this is um, adventure, um, definite role gaming elements, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, some strategy and and um, I would say uh, many different ways of winning the game. Very cool. All right. Well, that's looks good. Yeah. So uh, and oh, uh, the what, what would be the price of this one? Uh, Twenty euros. Twenty euros. Okay. Special discount this for the, year uh, for for, the, for this for the, year's Essen for the fair. Yes. And then afterwards, um, distribution is going to be just like we yes. talked about with yes. the other. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Timo. This was very good. Yes. All I will right. leave you a copy of this as well. So, so available to play at BGG Cons.